cool little, uh, actually very neoclassical sounding alternate picking drill. Um, it's really a great lesson for uh, for practicing rhythm and your alternate picking. It's strictly alternate picking all through this piece, uh, even in some of those uh, parts that people maybe normally wouldn't play alternate picking. But that's what you're gonna do here since this is a lesson and. Um, uh, the amazing thing about this one is that it's also pretty musical, so it's fun to practice. Let me get this metronome off. And here it is a little s even slower. Pretty awesome. Right, so here in the first part where I play 16th notes, I play, uh, I start actually with an upstroke. It just makes it a little easier for the remaining piece, I think. But yeah, I use my pinky quite a lot here. So I start here with my long finger on the B string 13th fret and play, as I said, an upstroke and then continuously just play alternate picking all through the piece. 13, 12, 13, and then 15 with my little finger. Then I play 13, 12, 13, and then 16, also with the little finger on the B string. And then I go back and play 13, 12, 13, and then with my pinky again, play 16, but on the high E string. And then again, I back and play 13, 12, um, 13, 12, all the way. And then, with my ring finger go up here on the 15th fret high E string and play a new kind of a pedal point. It's all, this is also a pedal point between 13 and 12 on the B string. And then this typical, I will not say Yngwie, but <laughs> since it comes from, uh, I guess, Beethoven and Bach and, and uh, fellas like that. So I play 16, 15, 16, uh, sorry, 16, 15, 16, 13, 16, 11. I use my index finger for only the, uh, both the 13th and the 11th. And then my ring finger for the B string, 15th fret. Then I go sequence it sort of down here. And play 15, 13, 15, 11, 15, 10, 15. And then down to the B string with my ring finger playing 13. And then further back and play the same kind of sequence, but further down the scale. So I get 13, 11, 13, 10, 13, 8, 13, and then 12 on the B string. And then the final one I do this thing with here. I play 11, 10, 11, 8, 11, and then I go down to the B string with my long finger and play 9 back to 11 on the E string. And then, and then here I end it on the eighth fret um, on the B string with my index finger. Then I play this cool little sequence and end it with a trill here. I play um, on the B string, starting with my long finger, nine, eight, nine, and then 12 on the B string with my little finger. And then I go up to the high E string with my index finger playing eight and then 11, 10, eight. Then back again to the B string, 12th fret with my little finger and then playing 12, uh, 9, 8, and then into the G string with my little finger playing 10, and then I play that trill between 7 and 8 with my index and long finger. Then I go into the 32nd notes, so even though it's a quite slow pace, I end up playing kind of fast. So I start on the D string with my long finger playing 10, 9, 10, and 12. Then I go into the G string and play this kind of sequence. I play, uh, start with my index finger here and play 8, 12, 10, 8, slide my index finger down to 7, play the same kind of thing again, uh, 10, 8, uh, 7, and end it here on 5. And you can even, you can also hear in the fast version that I like to uh, mute it a little bit. 
was maybe a little too much, but I do that with the palm of my hand. Like that. Same kind of idea again here, but off from the G string. I start with my ring finger. You can start with your long finger if you play this kind of fingering for a two whole step sequence, uh, scale sequence. I play with my ring finger in the middle. So 10, 8, 10, and then 12, and then into the B string and play this typical harmonic minor uh, um, interval. So that's with my index finger starting here on the B string, 9, 13, 12, 9, sliding down to 8, and then 12, 9, 8, and then down to 6. And then I repeat some of those notes uh, in a typical, also very neoclassical neo way. I don't think this is very easy, but this is also because I've I don't usually do stuff like that. It's a very typical thing. You hear Ingve and a lot of other neoclassical players do this a lot, but it's a good uh, uh, alternate picking practice. So I play on the B string, uh, I play 9, 13, 12, 13, and then go a step down here and play the same idea again, but from these notes, 8, 12, 9, 12, and then I go all the way up here and play I play 12, 15, 13, 15, and then just um, 12, 13, 12. So it goes like this. I do this twice actually, 12, 13, 12, 13. And then this, the final thing here. That's uh, figures of four, or whatever you want to call it. Patterns of four, I play 15, 16, 15, 16 on the E string, and with the same fingering all the way, the same on the B string, same on the G string, but this time 16, 7, uh, 16, 17, 16, 17, and then also on the D string. And then I just repeat that once again here on the D string because I play, I'm gonna play this. So it goes like this 17, 18, 17, and then down to the A string playing with my little finger here, I'm playing. 20, 9, 20, 20, uh, 18, 17, and then on the low E string, I play 20, 19, 20, uh, 20, 19, 20. Then I play this final thing a slower, in a, at a slower pace, or not a slower pace, but just uh, um, <laughs> back to the 16th notes from the 32nd notes. So it goes like this. I start actually with my long finger. You can use your ring finger if that's better. I play with my long finger here, 22nd fret on D string, and then in with my index finger I go into the G string, 20th fret, and my little finger to the 24th fret, and I bar that up to the uh, to the 24th fret on the B string, and then end it here on the 20th fret on the high E string. <laughs> 